the freezer sometimes, you know? Like... Hold on, I got it. Okay. Anything? I guess I should uh, go check him. Hope he's awake. You can say, John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Richard brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks, Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch. Murdered Camel and Reed. At the farm? Lynch ran. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Schizo wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. Hey, St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to 
we'd ever see him were wild animals from the trees or out in the wilderness in the houses. You finished? The guys back in the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crime. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Korea. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world we don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. But the Bible, now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice, flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus and Brian. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Hey, okay, I'll see if I can make time peeking out. Copeland, Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay, uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. A few weeks back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. Almost a neighborhood scarred up.
it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Chase him down, Deacon out. Yeah, I can always use this. Can use this. Stop by. Oh, let me guess. You got a job for me. Yeah. Okay. St. John out.
Oh, here we go. That should be it. Take a closer look. All right, what have we got? <sighs> Still got. Oh shit! There he is. Damn it, Lynch man, come on! No, oh, no, you're not gonna get away. How's it going, Lynch man? What is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to take him off. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Wait, please. Don't leave me here! No, no, I didn't see him. All right. Freak we'll bring him in. Boss Lake Please. out. See you, Lynch man. Deke, you there? I got out of the infirmary today, man. Addie said she'd heard enough of my whining to last her a lifetime. Yeah, sounds like Addie. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, a little amputee over there. But seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? Yeah, I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addie said. It, man, it fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. Good. Go to flex it and... Anyway, I, I gotta get going. This is a dummy on farm, I'm gonna see if I can uh, 
Hey. What's going on, Blair? Uh, yep. Hey, see ya. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The rest of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. Yeah, when you get back, you come find me. You coming? 
Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm going to go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride... No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. The look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. What giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addie. You got a problem? Me? No. Oh, come on. I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, 
I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves to keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of Marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. Dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I'm going to check something out. I got a use for you. Hmm. Come here and touch this. What? Come what on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on.
Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbine. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now what? Oh, oh. Wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. D d see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Uh, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? He's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. Here. Boost me up. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. Three mile 
cops you got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh... You never mentioned him before, so I'm, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. But no, hey, hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Deep on. This? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. You remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was gonna bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> You thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. 
This isn't what you think it is. Okay? Get low! Get on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Cab. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Yes. Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Oh! <laughs> 